So recently I came into this platform, a single platform that gives you access to multiple AI models like Flux Pro, Edugram 2A, Delhi, and much more for free. So if you're looking for a single platform that gives you free access to image generation models, you should check this one. In this video, I'll show you how you can use one platform for free and get access to multiple image generation models and how you can get started right away. The platform that I'm talking about is called Genspark with AI. But before we start, you will need to sign in for a free account using the link in the description, which will provide you with a one month free to use Genspark and have all the options of the plus membership including all the chat models and the image generation models for free. And once you're in, you will be faced with a similar interface like the one in front of you. On the left side, there is the image studio, which provides you with a mixture of agents like the one we have on the screen now, the, all the flux models, the edugram 2.0 and 2A, recraft, Dell E, and the Gemini image generation model. There's also the remix feature which you can use to upload an image or use any of the available images to remix. And there's the auto styler. You can simply pick one of the styles available and enter your prompt and get the similar result to the style you selected. And there's also video generation and AI chat models available in the gens bar, but this is not the subject of today's video. We are going to test a couple of AI image generation models through the Genspark. So this is the prompt I'm using. And for the first generation, I'm using the Flux One Dev. I'm using a prompt that says vector t-shirt design of a fierce bald eagle head with sharp, intense eyes. And I'm going to test the same prompt using the different AI generation models to see the results. And this is these are the results of the flex uh, of the flux dev it always generates four images on the genspark platform and these results are amazing they are perfect for t-shirt design you can easily remove the backgrounds and use upscale the image and use it for your designs and if we open one of them you can see that there's the download button button available and we know that Flux Dev is one of the best image generation models for print on demand. The results are always clear, sharp lines, and great details. So let's try the Edugram 2.0. I'm going to use the same prompt and inside the same inside the inside the same thread. And again, I get four images using the Edugram 2.0. This is the the old edugram model not the 2.a or the 2a and also the results are perfect very close to the flux one dev i like the results as well great details great vector graphics that you can easily remove the background and run uh, and convert the image to svg or to vector and use it for your designs so both these models are great and the best thing of using a, a platform like Genspark is that you are able to have access to all the models simultaneously and try one prompt with multiple platforms to see how the results are going to look like and this time I'm using the recraft v3 model using the same prompt and again the results are great and you can see that the dimensions of the image are visible here and any of these images you can they are for 1024 by 1365 and again you can download them and all the three results of the three image generations are perfect but here up some some details are missing but this one looks much better so also the recraft image generation model is also one of the best for print on demand 
and later I'm going to compare all the results side by side so let's use the same prompt and this time I'm going to generate an image or images using the DAL E model we get three and again we get four results for the DAL E model but not all the results are perfect as you can see some of the results they we have one result with um, a mock-up of a t-shirt that cannot work and some of the other results have a background that has some elements not very clean background and one of the first results of the results which is the upper left one has some weird feathers so let's compare the results that we got beside each other I'm going to download the best results out of each images generated for each model and compare them side by side here, here we go these are the best images generated by each model and I think the of course the the, the prompt that I used is perfectly fit for generating images that are print-on-demand friendly so I guess the ideogram and the flux dev as well as the recraft images are perfect they can be upscaled and vectorized easily the Dell E image is also a nice one but such an image if it is converted to vector you might face some problems because of the detailed shadow shadows that are inside the image so the line shadowing could create some problems but again it's still a very usable image that you can use for print on demand so the four models are great and this is one of the best ways to test a prompt on all or on multiple image generation models now let's try one of the other features available on the GenSpark platform which is the restyle or the remix so I'm going to use this nice raccoon image to create some something similar so using the Dell E model I'll just enter the prompt button without writing anything and see what I get so while I'm on the same thread which I used on which I used the vector t-shirt design of a bold eagle prompt so using this remix image it automatically generates something of a mix of the prompt that I previously used and the raccoon and this one is really cool and th this is the DAL E model by the way so it's a very cool design yes of course it needs some editing but the result is, is great and this is the prompt that is automatically generated by the GenSpark uh, to create this remixed image a, rock, a cartoon style raccoon character with expressive features and bright blue eyes dressed in a trendy urban outfit with a cap featuring prominent uh, logo an orange hoodie etc so the result is really great and one of the GenSpark amazing feature is this remix, remix uh, feature so now let's use the same image and try to get a remix using the edugram 2.0 by the way this video was recorded before the edugram 2a model was integrated into the GenSpark platform so i'm using the 2.0 let's wait and see the results yeah we get different results different uh, style different cartoon style the results are okay if you for example delete the background and remove any elements and just cut the raccoon image you might have an acceptable result and I'm going to to do the same with the flux model now this time the 
the Flux One Dev. The results are very 3D like. It's a very nice image, but this style is not perfect for print on demand. Although the image is really cool and the style is, is amazing. You might need to convert it to vector first and see how it's going to, to look like. Just to eliminate this tree look and use it. But the style is, 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 is perfect. And these are the results that I got for using the remix, using the recraft model and also the results are totally different and again this is one of the advantages of this platform that you can try all the image generation models simultaneously and see which one fits best for you and finally i'm using this real image of a masked guy with this illuminated face to create something out of it using also the remix button so this time I'm using the the remix with the Realcraft V3 model and I'm enter I'm going to enter a prompt that says a gorilla a masked gorilla that says a masked gorilla vector illustration and as you know the Realcraft V3 model is one of the best restyle image restyle image generation models so Let's see what I'm going to get here. And the results are really amazing. We get a very similar gorilla style to the masked guy in a vector illustration. And this shows how the recraft model creates an amazing restyle, restyled images using, and we did this using the GenSpark platform. All the generated images are perfect. So that was a quick tutorial on how you can use one platform to generate multiple images and try multiple AI models. And by the way, this GenSpark platform has many other features like the video generation and the AI chat models. You can all you can try all of these features using the link in the description just sign in for free and you will get one month free of using GenSpark. so if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials thanks for watching